My name is Claire Conway and my candidate number is 1125 and I will be presenting on culturally solving food insecurity in the United States. The Oxford English Dictionary defines food insecurity as access of not having access to sufficient food or food of an adequate quality to meet one's basic needs. For some global context, the World Food Program estimates that in the year 2023, 1.3 billion people were classified as food insecure, and within that, 13 million children. Additionally, it has been shown that 100% of American states battle moderate to severe food insecurity. This picture was provided by National Geographic and shows an immigrant family from Gambia living in Bronx, New York. The photo was taken after a neighbor dropped off lunch for the struggling family that takes meals wherever they can find them. If you observe the picture a little closer, you can see that they're eating on the floor and with no utensils, further attributing to their financial situation and why they cannot afford food for themselves. The picture on the end displays a Pennsylvania mother making meals for her family out of individual school lunch cups of taco meat because she is unable to afford the store prices. On a local level, in the state of North Carolina, 10.9% of the population experiences some level of food insecurity, coming around to only to about 1.2 million people. More specifically, in Iredell County alone, there is a 10.2% food insecurity rate, which is almost 19,000 people. So as the question that focused my research and the overall focus of my presentation, I asked, to what extent will implementing social action decrease food insecurity in the United States? My argument is that social action and reform is the best way to solve America's food insecurity problem. In looking at what needs to be implemented, it's important to know what has already been done. Firstly, in 1946, President Harry Truman established the National School Lunch Program under the National School Lunch Act, aiming to provide free and nutritious school lunches to public and private schools. This program was successful and gave millions of children the ability and access to eat at school, but it did not improve food insecurity outside of the school. Later, in 1972, the Women, Infant, and Children's Program gave food nutrition counseling and access to health services to low-income women, infants, and children. Finally, in the 1990s, SNAP cards were created through the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program that provided food benefits to low-income families to supplement their grocery budget, allowing them to buy and afford nutritious food that they otherwise would not have been able to. While these past methods were impactful methods to target food insecurity, they did not fully solve the problem. So through a social lens, my proposed solution is increased awareness spread throughout the edu educational system. By spreading awareness about food insecurity through the education system, students would learn about this issue and would be more inclined to help and aid the cause. Furthermore, with increased awareness comes heightened advocacy for reform, as well as a greater push and demand for political reform and economic funding for the cause. The future implications and results of this proposed solution are that more people would know about this issue and would be more inclined to help and aid the cause. And with that, social reforms would increase, aiding funds for grocery stores and food banks for low-income areas. Some limitations that exist within my solution are that parents might protest at food insecurity being taught in schools due to the fact that it does not align with the traditional curriculum. Additionally, with the United States being such a divided country through our strict two-party system, it would be difficult for everyone to agree on this issue and agree on the best plan of action to take. So not everyone will think that this social solution is the best option because economic funding has the power to more immediately fund grocery stores and food banks in low-income areas, and political legislation would include Congress displaying food insecurity as the national issue that it is. However, what economics and politics do not provide is unity, and unity for a single cause is what will ultimately solve food insecurity in the United States. In conclusion, by spreading awareness about food insecurity through the education system, increased funds would be raised, awareness would be spread through adults, teachers, and students, and advocacy for the issue would bring it to the forefront of minds. Cultural and social action has the power to help everyone live food secure lives and help America finally and fully solve its food insecurity problem. These are my sources, thank you.